All right, y'all, I ended up with two different iPhone tripods, so I'm gonna tell you which one I think is best. This is the R day flexible tripod, and this is the selfie stick tripod. All right, so starting with this one, first of all, the mechanism for putting your iPhone in is pretty annoying. I'm using actually quite a bit of strain to pull this thing open. I'll pop in my iPhone 14. So, you know, it works, but, but it's been a little annoying on me, kinda, gets a little jammed. And then basically you have this ball head attachment so you can loosen it in order to get different sorts of angles. You can go horizontal or vertical and then tighten it up when you're happy. Then your legs here, they're basically, these joints at the top go out just a little bit and then these legs here are completely flexible, right? So I think this is a great option if all you're really looking for is a desktop tripod because it's very small, it's simple and you could just pop it open. Now these kind of tripods, I, I think they sort of give you the impression that you can wrap this around anything. I wouldn't really recommend that. These things are not going to be that strong if you try to tie it to a pole or something. It might hold up but it's also very likely it's going to fall. I would really personally only use this on a flat surface. I really think that most people including myself are going to have a better experience with this kind of tripod. So here's how the attachment works on this one. You actually open it and close it with this little screw. It works very well for me. Then you have a knob right here that you can use to tilt and get different angles. And you also have another knob here to tilt this way. This will give you the freedom that you need, right? So if I wanted to shoot horizontal, I can tilt it like that. And then I can achieve different tilt angles just like that. Let's make that vertical again. So this tripod that I showed you first, this is its maximum height. The selfie stick tripod gets very tall. Let me show you. So the selfie stick tripod is getting pretty tall. I'm about six foot one, excuse the, the hair. And this tripod gets about to my shoulder height. Really, honestly, this tripod has been well versatile. Any sort of shot I can think of, it works great. I picked up this tripod because I thought I could use something that fits more easily on my desktop, but I really find this thing annoying to use and it's pretty dinky. Now the selfie stick tripod, if you're planning to use it on a desk, it does take a little bit of room on your desktop and this is the lowest it will go. You can extend the legs out more, but it, then it will be a wider base. It will, it will get a little lower, but then it's taking up more room on your desktop. So that's the biggest flaw with the selfie stick tripod, but really it's so versatile. You can get all sorts of angles, all sorts of heights that I prefer this one. In fact, I, I found myself not really using this one at all. You know, if you really do just need a very small, simple tripod just to sit on your desk, if that's all you're using it for, then maybe I would go with this one. In most other cases, I'm definitely recommending the selfie stick.